Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry the videos have been so sporadic as of late. Basically, there's something I wanted to share with you, which um, I've been kind of keeping from you from the past year, I guess. Andrew and I um, have parted ways as a couple. We have consciously uncoupled, as Gwyneth Paltrow would say, um, just over a year ago now. It's so hard to speak about because obviously it's so personal, um, but I did say I was gonna share the, the good and the bad with you guys. For the past year, you know, I've been doing my own sort of soul searching and journey, and it's been incredibly tough at times. It's been very healing at times. And Andrew and I had to deal with this um, together. And, and in fact, a lot of our close friends don't even know that we we have parted, way as a, parted ways as a couple. So I guess it's the first time that some of them are gonna be hearing this as well. But yeah, so over, just over a year ago, um, we, we had some really honest chats. Um, and this has nothing to do with autism. It has nothing to do with children. This is just two people who are on their own spiritual journeys, who want to discover more about themselves. You know, I was only very young when I met Andrew and we were thrown into parenthood very quickly um, with our beautiful Dylan. And you know, for the last 10 years, 12 years, it's been, kids and life and everything all at once. And we really didn't get chance to discover, I guess, who we really were as individuals. You know, one thing Andrew and I've always had is a really good friendship. And I am so lucky to have him in my life. And I'm so lucky to have him as my baby daddy. And, you know, I think that's sometimes what makes it harder is that, you know, we have so much love for each other, but we have so much love for each other that we knew the right thing for each other was to part ways as a couple. So I guess, it's taken us a year of mistakes, of learning, of growing, of figuring out our new normal. We have been living together during this whole process and I am really proud of the way we have conducted ourselves, if conducted is a word. In fact, I think it's made Andrew and I stronger as friends. And it has been sad because, you know, you go through a mourning process of, you know, have I given everything I can? Have I tried everything I can? Is this about the kids? Is this? And then you realize that you have one life and, you know, if some parts of your relationship aren't working, you deserve to find that happiness. You deserve to, you know, this is, this is my life. This is, you know, his life. This is not just about raising children because our children are going to be adults soon. And, you know, Andrew and I have been here once before, as you know, from our video, we broke up after um, Luca was born for about a year and a half. And, you know, that was about, you know, just the whole impending parenthood and we were not communicating. And we learned a lot about ourselves through that period as well. And we came back together and obviously had our beautiful Naya. And we have had an amazing journey as a couple as well. But, you know, this isn't just about them now. It's about us. What has been hard is you have to, you know, I got really upset thinking, oh my gosh, I'm losing him and I'm losing this family that we had. You know, and Andrew said something, you know, really profound. He has these moments of profoundness and he said, you know, we're never going to lose each other. Like you're never getting rid of me and I'm never getting rid of you. And we have this family and that family unit is um, really sacred and important. And in fact, anyone else that comes into our other lives in, in other partners is only adding to our family, not taking away. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to sort of the next chapter and looking forward to the next chapter with Andrew as well. You know, I feel like I've been holding this big secret from you guys and I hope you understand why we had to take this, you know, this time just to kind of delve deep and, you know, I'm a bit of a, what do you call those birds that put their heads in the sand? What do you call those? Ostrich? I think I'm an ostrich. I think I put my head in the sand when I'm going through stuff and I'm internalizing it and sorting it out. And then I come back up and I, when I feel stronger. You know, I feel like Andrew and I have so much more to give um, to each other and to other people of, of things that we have learned. For the next couple of videos, I kind of wanted to share some of our strategies that work, some of the things that have not worked and to avoid at all costs, um, but also, you know, keeping in mind the most important people in all of this is not just ourselves, it's our three children. And, you know, when you have a child um, on the spectrum who doesn't like change, how do you negotiate a, a separation and, you know, do it sympathetically for everybody and, you know, how we help Dylan. You know, I, I know if you guys are going through, you know, the same thing, life is hard and, you know, we get thrown a lot of different stuff in our ways. And I think, you know, one thing Andrew and I have learned out of all of this, if you can take the ego 
away from it and you know we're here for such a short time we're here on this earth for a short time and we want to ultimately all be happy that's that's the goal right it's it's not money it's not this it's it's, it's being happy and healthy you know there are things that money can't buy and you know it's important that we support each other and you know i think honesty has been the most important key out of all of this you know we've always been honest with each other um and that helps because we still have that trust and that trust is important um so i think you know if anyone else out there is going through that that same thing i think if you can be honest and truthful to yourself and to your partner no matter how hard it is it's it's, it's the best way to go forward so yeah so okay guys i think that was it that was it was easier than i thought it was going to be um but yeah next week i will be talking about how andrew and i told the kids and how we kind of navigated this tricky road with them and how we supported them anyway guys i think that's it um look forward to bringing out more videos and if you have any questions just you know please put them below and um yeah i guess we'll see you next week guys take care